Well, welcome to part three on Lonnie's TX, where we hope to fix a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Well, if you didn't catch part two, uh, the launches were less than stellar. Yeah. Uh, it had a hang idle. <laughs> It's just not, it's not up to spec. We're not gonna, we're not gonna bring this to brat fest the way it is. So uh, we're gonna do some work on it and then we're gonna come back. We're gonna do a couple quick test runs around the yard. And if that goes well, we're gonna take her on a shakedown run up to a different local establishment. We haven't taken you two yet. Sounds good. All right, one of the huge reasons Lonnie Sled had that bog off the line is that a secondary is just shot and uh, we'll show you quick what we mean so let's uh let's show them how loose this is um actually take this take that sheave off look, look at look at how much that moves the bushing is down to metal and it's spinning around in there the bushing's just junk surprisingly the buttons still have some life to them yeah. uh, the inner bushing show how much that rattles on the post lonnie i'll oh, put the put the sheath oh, on there and yeah. rattle that you know rocker show them yeah she's pretty loose on there it's not nearly as bad as this outer bushing but it, it's no good so this whole secondary is junk and rather than rebuild it we're just going to find a better secondary yep um Lonnie had the old looks like maybe a white spring in there she's a little soft for my taste so Lonnie got a black spring it's a what brand uh hot seat a hot seat yeah you got it from sol uh from straight line or no speedworks, speedworks down in speedworks. forest lake yep hot so seat. uh it's the uh 20 to 50 20 to 50 so that ought to work pretty good um we're gonna build up a new secondary we're just gonna put that in the second hole i think uh that ought to work so uh, we'll bring you back when we're done yep okay even lonnie's new secondary the bushing leaves a little bit to be desired. It's not nearly as bad as the other one, but right there I have a bushing. So we're gonna change it out. We're gonna take out these four screws and then we're gonna knock it out with a hammer and a screwdriver. And we put the bushing back in. I don't have any uh, green Loctite, but the red 263 will work to lock the bushing on there. Well, here we are getting the bushing out. You can see Liney took out all the screws. We took the windage plate off and uh, we just found the split in the bushing hooked it with a screwdriver drove it in with the hammer and she comes right out sure. so uh the new one we'll uh we'll, we'll get the new one out of the bag and show you all right there's the new one versus the old one and all we're going to do is put a thin film of red loctite around that and uh actually we might even put it on this half and then we're going to knock her in that's it uh, if you get the green cylindrical retaining compound more power to you, that's the right stuff, but the red will work in a pinch if you don't have it. Plus, this clutch is nice because it's also retained with screws. It's not yeah, going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. Well, I took uh, took a block of wood to put the new uh, fairing race in there, or the, yeah. Bushing? Bushing, I'm sorry. Put that in with a, take a block of wood and tap that in so I don't beat the edge of it up with the hammer. A little bit of red Loctite. A little, a little bit of red Loctite around the inside. Um, Show them how good this is now. That is way better. That's a, <laughs> that's a million times better than your old clutch, oh, and yeah. at least twice as good as this clutch was. Yes, sir. Yeah, that is that's nice and tight in there now. Yeah, let's show them how nice the buttons are in this one too. Well, these buttons, they got a lot of life left in them. You know, they're not even half used up. So this is going to be a really good clutch for Lonnie. Yep. All right, we'll go ahead and put her back together. Sounds good. All right, so uh, we just assembled Lonnie's secondary. We put that uh, spring in the second slot, and now we shimmed it. You can see the belt is just a little bit proud. So we're happy with that shimming. We're going to jam it on the sled, and we're expecting really awesome launches now. Oh, yeah. Really awesome. Yep. Did you lost a nut under the motor? Yeah. Did you guys even clean this sled? No. No, around? we did not. What are you throwing around under the motor, Dennis? Nuts. Oh, man. White pipe nuts. Cause Lovely. Clean this out. It's pretty clean under there. Yeah, no. It doesn't, it's all uh, on me. It doesn't meet detailed Dennis's <laughs> standards, I guess. Oh, Apparently well. Not. 
<laughs> All right. Well, Tommy did tell us he had a boot tear right at the end of when he was still riding this thing, and he threw another boot on. I think he threw an Indy 650 boot on there. Lonnie, show him how loose that is. It looks like it's a boot for a 38 or something. That yeah. That's not right. That's not right. Not at all. So uh, we got some brand new boots in a Polaris bag right here. These are actually meant for a 488 Trail Indy, but they fit and work, so we're going to put them on. Yeah. Well, this one is... That's the one we were showing you that must be for a 38 or something because it's just huge and it's just mushy and warped and garbage. This one's not much better. Well, here's what we do with these. <laughs> New ones are going on. All right, here we are. We're out bickering about it, but I'm it's not. it's moved about one-tenth of a pound in one minute. That's a pass. We're not tearing the motor down for that. Life is good. she's still pretty boggy this has got the original close face primary and i think it's just shot in secondary was junk there's no reason to expect the primary still good right yeah she's pretty boggy off the line so yeah she's right. she's trail rideable but we're not going to enter her any drag races until we uh do a little bit of clutching magic to her yeah i think we're still on for the ride today though aren't we i like the idea all right we'll see you on the trails in a bit see ya <laughs>
XLT, buddy. Yeah, ditch oh, hanging, yeah. man. I love it. Ditch just, hanging on a leaf spring. That's the shit. <laughs> this tiny little narrow thing, it was throwing me all over the place. I was just, I was just hanging on. Oh, you got to <laughs> ride it like it's a dirt bike. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was great. So uh, hopefully everybody liked that rural ditch banging as opposed to the suburban that I've been showing you prior to this. This is like one of my favorite little ditch bang rides up to here. Yeah, it's a good one, man. She's running good. PX, uh, she's handling it well. She's still boggy. Uh, almost got me in trouble a couple of times when I got into a little bit deeper snow. Yeah, she wanted to bog out on me, so I just had to really pinch it and stay in it to, to keep it moving. But yeah, yeah. We'll, yeah. Be, we'll be doing a new primary on it. That'll right on. fix her. <laughs>
Kind of doing a long haul today. We went all the way from jumping jacks down to EJ's. I don't know. Yeah, I'm definitely not as young as I think I am. Well, <laughs> we're making damn sure this sled works. We're piling on the miles today. Yeah, yeah, she's she's done good actually. Yeah. I mean, overall, yeah, it's running good. It's still it's still boggy. Yeah. Um, if I keep it around five grand, um, she's she's nice and uh, sprite when I got it around five grand. But if I let it dip any lower than that and I try to get into it you know, hard, she just kind of falls on her face. So yep. we got some work to do on the clutching, I think. Clutching and maybe a little jetting. We'll get her there. Yeah, right on. <laughs> Sorry, <you> good. <laughs> We're going to shoot the outro again. No beer crack because the camera screwed up. <laughs> Par for the course today. <laughs> yep. So uh, we had a pretty good adventure today. Yeah, good ride. Lots of ditch banging. Uh, we intended to go out and eight miles out and back, and instead we were probably more in the more in the tune of forty five fifty between you know a round trip for the full day. Yeah. But things were just that good. Um, so before I go any further, I want to say thank you to Aaron Shriver, who's our first patron on Patreon. 
thanks Aaron for supporting the beer and spark plug fund. Uh, we had some beers and some spark plugs today. Yes, also, we did. Also, thanks to Doug who caught us up at EJ's who watches the channel and bought us around. Thanks, we, Doug. We appreciate that. All right, back to our ride. Um, Lonnie Sled made it. We had no trail breakdowns. I, I can't say it was flawless. You want to talk about have, our issues? We have a few challenges. Uh, we uh, This thing was stagger jetted. We think it was stagger jetted because previously uh, there was that, uh, that weak boot on the right hand cylinder. Uh, so it was set at uh, 290 and 310. Uh, we decided uh, after discussion to, uh, to make them both 290. Uh, we, we, we talked about going back to the 280, which is a stock. Uh, but with a uh, gutted air box on there, uh, we really think that we're better off staying at the 290 so it doesn't lean out. Um, as Mr. Nutter says, spark plugs are cheaper than cylinders. So. Well, our, our next ride we're anticipating is going to be the Thursday vintage ride up at Bratfest, which we're, according to the current weather reports, is going to be between minus 5 and minus 8 Fahrenheit. Yeah. So one, one jet uh, richer than stock isn't going to hurt us on that day. Yeah, yep. Um, we had some hard starting issues with it, and we may, it has 35, uh, it has uh, 35 jets in the pilots, and we may go back to 30s. Yep. You know, um, I think we're also looking at that, uh, that primary clutch. Um, I, yeah. I think it's, I think it's pretty weak. Um, so, uh, I, it'll be more of a, of a off season search, but we're going to look for an open, open face. Um, yeah, and, the, uh, and the, get this thing set up with the right spring rate weights uh, to match that new spring on the secondary. Uh, I think that's part of why it's just not pulling yep. uh, off the line. Um, so yeah, we've got a few things that we, we kind of worked on today. <laughs> yep. The modern fuel injected 600 clutches, I don't know what year they started, but they call it the 32 millimeter bore. They go right on these old TXs with the long taper. Yeah. Uh, and so we'll dig up one of those. I'm using one on my 78 TXL and uh, my old uh, 77 TX440 that I've already sold had one on it as well. Yep. So we'll dig up one of those. Yeah. So and then, hopefully between those two, we'll get uh, more of the uh, off the line things uh, settled out. Uh, get it to know. get it to off the line and get it to start better. Yeah, the big the big thing right now is just that uh, just hot, getting it to start. Hot starts are no good right now. Yeah, not it, good. It wants to be somewhere between uh, no choke and, and half, half choke, choke. Yep. and that's kind of hard to manage. So we'll we'll get it there. We may go down on the pilot so it takes the whole half a choke, but doesn't immediately flood like that as soon as it fires. Yeah, that's where we're at. And we had an interesting. Uh, ordeal with the uh, re yeah. <laughs> with the recoil yeah uh, luckily those... it didn't happen until we got all the way back in all my yard way back here yep so yeah the uh, apparently the those little those little springs that are in between the two nylon washers uh, if you don't have those hooked in just right uh, they can pop out of there and uh, what was happening was one of those popped out and was binding up the uh, the entire recoil so and the, the little tail that it hooked in was kind of flattened out and worn half yeah. away yep. so we actually clipped off uh, any of those tails that were questionable and bent over new ones yep. and reshaped the springs yeah so but that's not something you want to have on a day when you also have a hard starting issue that that was no good it was not fun <laughs> so uh, one or the other a guy can live with but both makes life really horrible yeah yeah, if you got to pull the rope 40 times, you hope that that recoil is going to work. Yep. <laughs> Just saying. But overall, we had a great time today. Yeah, good ride. Good uh, ride. Good ride. Uh, conditions were pretty good. Ironically, the worst conditions we saw were on the groomed trail. Yeah. And the best conditions were out when we were ditch banging. And yep. maybe that will come out in some of the video. Maybe you'll be able to tell. I don't know. So, uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the trails. See you on the trail. That time I know it recorded because